Cobra, Semper Fi, do or die, hold them high at 8th and I. Get your fat butt back in that chair. Rat Rod TV going to be right back. And we expect you to be here when we get here. Don't make me have to come over to your house, buddy. Hurrah. That work? <laughs>
なって言ったらいいな。かっこいいところです。Thank you. <laughs> He probably said something hysterical. Normally, it would be a stretch for us to cover a hot rod like the one you see here. However, we thought it was the most interesting car at SEMA, and it's hard not to interview a guy like Slick. He has oil in his veins. He owns Slick's Garage in Palmetto, Florida, and he is the co-host of Tail Fens and Chrome TV. When we sat down to interview Slick. He had just finished an autograph session with Gene Winfield and Arlen Ness. Slick was still on the signing high, and it was the best interview I have ever done. Unfortunately, due to the miracles of modern technology, our camera failed to record the first What's half of the interview. What's this apparatus here, Slick? That is a blow-off valve, and that is uh, the second release. Blow-off valve. My first wife had one of those. <laughs> Every wife, I think, has one at one point in time. Um, it's a blow-off valve so that if you get too much pressure built up, I've got 30 pounds of boost, so when your throttle uh, body is closed, it builds up pressure, so this just releases the excess pressure. 30 pounds of boost. 30 pounds of boost. That's, uh, that's get the hell out of my way. Yeah. LS1, 1,200 horsepower. LS1 block, but it's a LS3 heads. It's got a 4-inch stroke, eagle crank, forged. Uh, everything about it is for it. So it's a 402, actually, is what it is. Um, what about these liquid tubes up here up front in the grill? That is, uh, that's my design. Um, number one, I uh, also love Rockola jute boxes and whatnot, Wollertzers, so this has a... Uh, yeah, it's a jute box, it bubbles, right? <laughs> Let's start it up and watch the bubbles. Yeah, let the record spin. Yeah. Um, the, uh, we have a hydrogen assist system, and what it does is we have, we displace some of the gasoline that goes in the motor, and so we have a hydrogen gas that takes the place of the gasoline. So the hydrogen gas comes through the bottom of the, the grill shell. We have it capped off on the inside. And encapsulated, we have uh, a tube with holes drilled in it so that it disperses the bubbles evenly throughout the tubes. It comes in the top, and then another tube comes out and goes to the intake of the motor. I'm getting 60 miles per gallon with 1,200 horsepower. 60 miles per gallon, 1,200 horsepower, hydrogen rat rod. Hydrogen rat rod. I think I can live with you saying that. It doesn't hurt too bad. Hydrogen assist? Hydrogen assist. I can run, I've, well, I ain't gonna let too much out the bag, but we've gotten some high, high numbers. The, tr the truth is, the hydrogen's always been out there since the 70s, and it's just been suppressed. Um, it is a clean, you know, I guess, alternative to taking and running gasoline on the hot rods. Right. Uh, what I'm trying to do is make sure that hot rods stay on the planet and that they don't get disbanded, you know, with all the new laws and whatnot. So if we can take in, uh, you know, change the way we think and just have a hydrogen assist. It's all it is is water. That's all it is. Right. I mean, it, we don't have some uh, a Mercedes and some other people have tried it and they have these 3,000 psi tanks in their trunk and I'm like, that's a bomb. You know, if you got hit in the butt, it'd be like a pinto, but you know, magnified. Okay, so there's hydrogen assist hidden somewhere in this car. Hey, you're right. It is hidden. <laughs> and you're not going to tell us where it is. Oh no 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 no! I've got I left a couple of the pieces off, in fact, just because I can't watch it night and day, you know. But this is like <laughs> one of the generators right here. This is a hydrogen cell right here, and uh, what hydrogen is is basically you have water in the, a a tube or a container of some sort, and when you deliver power to it, it basically with the water it separates the hydrogen atom. Hydrogen is a bigger explosives, but but it's a direct uh, uh, element of what goes in your motor. It's clean, the emissions that come out your car are the cleanest emissions pools you can possibly find anywhere on the planet. You can drink the water that comes out the exhaust if you had a clean enough exhaust pipe, I guess. And uh, it's an alternative. I mean, you know, you can get high fuel mileage. It's better on the motor. You don't have any carbon buildup to speak of on the inside of your motor, so you change your oil like every 8,000 miles instead of every three. Because there's It's no a real under the radar deal right here. People are walking by looking at this car. They have no friggin' have no clue. Idea that it's hydrogen assist oh, and no. it gets 60 miles to the gallon, 1,200 horsepower. They're thinking six miles per gallon is what they're thinking. That's amazing. It is. So, and you're selling these. You're actually manufacturing these and selling these. So somebody watching right now, if they wanted one, Not the hydrogen they could part. buy it from you for 45 grand, right? <laughs> Not this one for sure. And I can't sell the hydrogen system on them yet. I'm taking and uh, making sure that it gets out there and it's, it gets used in the right way. I mean, you can look online. Just be real careful. I mean, there's a lot of things like on eBay and whatnot with these mason jars and stuff. And it really does get fair fuel mods. You'll get three to five miles per gallon difference. Um, but the technology is out there to get 
you know, 100 miles, 165 miles per gallon, no doubt about it, it's there. It's just, you know, uh, whether or not you open your eyes up and, you know, and uh, have an open mind, you know, to see it, and, uh, and you're willing to make that change, you know, to take them, think about the environment a little bit. Open your eyes, open your mind, and make the change, right? Right. That should be a song, shouldn't it? Yeah. It should. This is amazing. It's an amazing, the most amazing rat rod we've seen so far. He winces much. when I say rat rod. A little bit. It, it tints up just a little bit. Like, it has oh, flat it's paint and it's ratty. made from parts of different cars. It's a hot rod to me. It's a hot rod. It's what hot rodding was about. A, rat it's a rod. hot rat is what it is. No, I, I could live with that maybe. A hot rat. I could live with that. It's uh, it's what you know the community was about back in the day. I mean, it was you know there was gangs of it almost you know, and, and it was organized you know, and it was fun. And now it's gotten to the point where Viva Las Vegas, you know. Rocks, you know, I mean, things like that. Lone Star Roundup, Steve Worthermeyer, U Rock. Um, Are you going to be here for Viva this year? This is actually my first time to Vegas, believe it or not. Oh, really? So I are you coming to Viva in uh, May? I think I want to. I can't bring this, of course, but uh, I've got some wicked hot rods I can bring. I got a uh, 32 3 window with a 283. I know, you have 60 of them. Oh, he's gonna, yeah. He's going to try and name all 60 by the time no, we're no, done. No, 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 no. Just my babies. <laughs> Well, Slick, thanks for talking really, to us, man. You, great job. Appreciate it so much. I really appreciate what you're doing for the Hot Rod community, man. Thank I love you this so car. This is great, even though it doesn't have any rust. Hey, you know what? This I think it has some, some rust it. on it. We'd be. I could put some holes in it. We'd be downtown with <laughs> rust in there. <laughs> awesome, man. I appreciate it so much, Rich. Hi, we're the Fire Gone Girls, and you're watching Rat Rod TV. Crown Deluxe is the brand that brings you a classic design featuring optical quality sunglasses, durable frames with heavy duty dual hinges, made for the hardcore and extreme lifestyle. If you're into tattoos, hot rods, custom bikes, classic cars, or street trucks, your image isn't complete till you're wearing the crown. We are the world's number one underground sunglasses, made for the infamous. Drop by our shop or visit us online, crowndeluxe.com. Shop number is 310-534-0009. Riptide Super Sockets and Wrenches, the fast and easy way to remove rusted, damaged, and severely rounded bolts and nuts. The harder you twist, the tighter they grip, the flatter the fastener. Riptide Super Sockets and Wrenches hold bolts and nuts straight and true, so you can install or remove them easily in those hard-to-reach places without a magnet. Riptide Super Sockets and Wrenches, the best method for tightening and loosening bolts and nuts. Awarded best new product by Popular Mechanics Magazine. Riptide Super Sockets and Wrenches, the sockets and wrenches with bite. Available at these fine retailers and mygriptite.com. Okay, well, I'll say one, two, three, and then yeah, we'll start. Okay, okay, okay. One, two, three. We're, We're the, the Fat Roost Girls, and you're watching Rat Rod TV. Look, buddy, I found you. We were everywhere today. See, now that's what a rat rod is. We've been at SEMA now for uh, two and a half days, and this is it right here. This is the only rust we have found at SEMA. And then we have the distressed chrome here. I believe this is a Plymouth. Nope, it is a DeSoto station wagon. Is this a piece of work or what, huh? Look at this. Look at that. Old Steely's in the front, and we got holes down here along the bottom of the rocker panel. My gosh, look at this. And nicely, nicely weathered surface here. And look at this. Look at this alligator interior, huh? Is that top drawer? Check out that speedometer. The Soto Town and Country, the wood is in pristine condition inside. And look at that, huh? Here's the secret. This is the secret. Here's the surprise. Follow me. You see all this, huh? See all that rust? Follow me. Check this out. Happy birthday to you, baby. Look at that. <laughs> Chrysler Firepower Heavy. 